Hello and welcome. I figured what better way to kick off the new year than to start off exactly the same way as we start off the Yoga for Core and Pelvic Health series, and that is with release work. Now, if you are like most people, there's a good chance that you're thinking, release work, aren't I just supposed to do my Kegels and all my problems will be solved? A lot of people think that you are not alone there, but here's the thing. People can also carry tension in their pelvic floor. And that tension can be caused simply by being stressed out. Nothing magical about that, just being stressed. So we start off with release work, and then we reinforce that release position with strength work. And especially when working with a group setting where maybe not everyone has had the opportunity to visit a pelvic floor physiotherapist, which I highly recommend. We don't really know what's going on. We can make some educated guesses. We can play around with movements, see how things resonate in your body. But a lot of times we're kind of stuck with, okay, what am I dealing with? And the complicated part about it all is that the symptoms can be exactly the same. So all you're going to need today is a blanket or a towel and a chair. And let's get right to it, shall we? So go ahead and grab your chair and we're going to unfold our blanket a little bit. And one of the reasons that I recommend a towel is because a lot of times the blankets that we have at home are really nice and cozy and squishy, whereas a towel has a little bit more of a dense feeling such as the blanket that I have right here. So depending on where you're at, depending on how this feels for you, if you don't feel too, too much with the blanket and you want to experience the feeling a little bit more when it comes to uh, this release work we're going to do, go ahead and try the same thing with a towel. So we're gonna take the towel, we're gonna to roll it up. And it can be a tight roll, it can be a loose roll. Again, some of this is going to depend on your experience with this movement. And then we're gonna place this roll right onto the chair, just like that. And then go ahead and take a seat right on top of the blanket. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna move around a little bit and we're going to try our best to find a connection between the blanket and the pelvic floor itself. So you could like lift and move some bum muscle, try to untuck things, take your feet a little bit wider, play around with the movement until you feel that connection between the pelvic floor and the blanket. And then we're just gonna hang out here. So I'm gonna set a timer. We've been here for like, what, 30 seconds now? So I would say no more than two minutes tops, but if this gets really uncomfortable really quickly for you, then please feel free to make your way off the blanket, maybe check your time, and maybe try to increase that time a little bit longer the next time you choose to do this. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Now, using a blanket is almost like a self-massage sort of technique. And this comes in really handy, especially if you've done some of the pelvic floor related stretches and you're just not connecting with them, you're not feeling them, or you're not seeing any improvement. So this just gets to the point a little bit more in the same way that if you went to a massage therapist, they might be able to get some of those kinks out of your back that you weren't able to get out on your own with either some stretches or whatnot. So what's our timing here? We got 38 seconds left to do this together. You can breathe nice and easy. And you can even start to dial in as well to how your pelvic floor is responding to your breath with this position. So as you inhale, the pelvic floor is meant to widen and expand. And as you exhale, it's meant to draw in and rise up. We're not forcing any of these movements to happen. They're just happening on their own as you allow them. There's the timer there, so we're gonna come off of the blanket. And I do encourage you to go ahead and take a seat on your chair and just notice the difference that you might be experiencing sitting on a chair now versus when you typically sit on the chair because quite a lot of work can be done when we use techniques like this in just a short little time span. It might feel weird, it might feel uncomfortable, and it might even feel painful. And I understand that completely. Again, take your time with this. Try different blankets. You can even maybe try a pillow. See what works for you. A lot of times, 
pain, whether it's with the release or even just pain in general around the pelvic area, lower back area, hip area, can be associated with pelvic floor tension. So especially if you're experiencing these things, it might be a good idea to try that out. That is all I've got for you today. Give that a try. Let me know in the comments what you think about this specific exercise. Was it helpful for you? Did it all make sense to you? And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Bye for now.